One of the subjects, Ibn Abbas told them, I heard Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say. And the same guy went to Abu Bakr asking the same question. Abu Bakr did not hear from Muhammad the narration that Ibn Abbas did hear. And he told him, I don't have a solid answer from the book of Allah and the sunnah of Muhammad. And here is what I can think of. And he went to Umar and Umar was like Abu Bakr in that particular question. And he gave him another answer. And the gay came back to Ibn Abbas saying, Ibn Abbas, Abu Bakr did say, and Umar did say. And Ibn Abbas did call Abu Bakr, and did call Umar, and did call the whole group of believers in front of the Kaaba. And he told everyone, Aqulu lakum, I am telling you, Muhammad said, and you are telling me Abu Bakr and Umar in front of Abu Bakr and Umar. And Abu Bakr and Umar were on the way to grab the neck of this guy and take him over. And they told him, Ibn Abbas, are you crazy? Ibn Abbas is telling you, the Prophet said, the one who is saying that is Abu Bakr and Umar themselves. Ibn Abbas is telling you that the Prophet said, and you are telling him, we said, who we are. If we have the source from the book of Allah and the sunnah of Muhammad, it's done. And they will give you the guidance from the two sources, the book of Allah and the sunnah of Muhammad. What we started with the advice that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to give it to the to the companions and his ummah and what we need right now. Because the loss is in every way. We need to understand that. It, it, websites are not gonna work. Sometimes discussions and, and, and listening to lectures, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy. That will be the time that you will see a lot of texts will be taken out of context. What we used to call حق يراد به باطل It's the truth but what they are looking for originally in their agenda is the falsehood. Somebody is, is he's, a, he's a drunk. Uh, he's just like disobeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right and left. And whenever it will come to his own interest he will tell you haven't you heard the verse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying, وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهَ غَافِلًا عَمَّا يَعْمَلُ الظَّالِمُونَ Don't think that Allah is unmindful of what the oppressors, the disobedience are doing. And He is the one who is disobeying day and night. It's حق يراد به باطل. What He said is correct. But what He is looking for to, to use the verse of Allah to achieve his agenda is, is false. وَلَا تَقْرَبُ الصَّلَاةِ It's a part of the verse. It is there in the Quran. But Allah did say, don't get close to the salah when you are drunk. What he's saying, see, there is a, a statement says, don't get close to the salah. Don't get close to the salah. فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ That's it. See? Musalleen will be in a big trouble. It's a verse in the Quran or not? It is or not? But it's taken out of context. <coughs> Same. That will happen in... And we don't have another option other than the advice of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. قُلْ آمَنْتُ بِاللَّهِ ثُمَّ اسْتَقْلِ Say I believe in Allah and keep being straight on. <coughs> there is a doubt that at the time we need to use the hadith of the Prophet. Whenever there is a doubt, even half percent, the advice of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, avoid it. Halal is clear. Haram is clear. And there is something between both that might be controversial, whatever you want to call it. And the Prophet did say, 
فمن اتقى الشبهات هم ever is gonna avoid whatever is called it's just like borderline that at the time we the only way you can be saved nowadays is even whatever will get you closer to the edge I'm not saying that you have become you will you will fall in the in the in the in the hellfire no just getting close will become an issue and the only way for the survival to make sure that you are enough distance away from the edge Ibn Mas'ud used to say the same during his life after the death of Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam during the life of the Prophet he used to say we used to have many halal things we used to avoid nine of nine tenth of the halal to avoid falling in one tenth of the haram oh go into the just I'm giving an example so you, you will not take my 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 statement literally you know yourself oh just go into the mall by, by itself in, in general go into the mall is halal or haram huh? sure not 50 50 <coughs> by default is halal what's inside the mall is halal or haram Huh? I don't wanna somebody told me haram. <laughs> because it can be more than haram. Huh? Halal or haram? Both. Good. Uh, what you are gonna go, go do and go to the mall and do? I'm just like I wanna buy just a shoes for my one of my daughters and good, mashallah, you are gonna make my family happy and okay, good. You are gonna do something to please your family. Good. Then but just I have to go by X and do by Y and just like that's what's called one tenth of the haram and the nine tenth of the halal. The example might not be that, that the same, but that's exactly what the, the Ibn Mas'ud is saying. Nine tenth, you, you know that what you will go and do might be halal, but there is a chance that you will go and fall in a trap. Uh, just like one of the sisters would like me to teach her Quran and which Quran you are talking about? Oh, just like she wanna just like she has asked it for a private session for a tutoring of Quran, then how we are gonna do it? And inshallah we'll just like we'll meet in the mall and and then we'll go to the food court, then what Quran you are talking about? What Quran? It might be right. It might be the only place that you might. I'm not going to go for that. Even for teaching your Quran. Because I'm going to leave the place and I'm not happy with myself and I'm not happy with my deen. That's what Ibn Mas'ud is saying. Uh, dealing with some of the transactions that it, it looks, it's okay. But in order to do it, I might need to bribe or just... Uh, we have come to the time that we are bribing to go to Hajj. <laughs> Why you are laughing? Isn't it true? Isn't it true or not? Yes. You are bribing. <laughs> I, I don't know even how we can. You are bribing to go to Hajj. I, I can understand just how they can how they can understood the law. Bribing to go to Hajj. To ask Allah for his forgiveness and come back the same way that you have come out of the womb of your mother, who, which womb and which mother? I, I'm not under. I, 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 you have bribed to take the place of somebody else. It's just a, a whole mess, and it's called Hajj. I don't need to go for that Hajj. <coughs> that the reason the Masood is saying nine tenth out of the halal. I'm not saying it's haram. So no one will say, Sheikh said, just like to go to the shop, to clerks and, and buy a shoe. I, I, I never said that. You know that you have a problem, you will go into the shop and you will be just like fallen in a temptation. You know that somebody told you there are somebody here or a girl here and there and, and you feel that you, 
you are not able to stand for it, avoid that nine tenths of halal. Worrying about falling in the one tenth of haram. That's what Ibn Mas'ud is saying. It will come to a point that that's his time. The time that every that you, you are gonna get out of the street and every nine nine out of ten are, are, are from the companions. And he is worrying about one tenth out of the street, that's the one hundred year after after the Prophet. During the time of Ibn Mas'ud, we are not talking about hundreds of years after the Prophet. What he will meet on the street will be one of those who did see Muhammad. And he's saying, still I'm, I'm, I'm worried. One tenth might be an issue to take me, to grab me to the edge and making me fall in down. I'm going to avoid the nine tenth. I'm going to avoid that application. I'm going to avoid that membership. Whatever the situation is. قُلْ آمَنْتُ بِاللَّهِ ثُمَّ اسْتَقِمْ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is repeating the same meaning in the Quran. Because it's a, it's a serious situation. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا رَبُّنَ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ اسْتَقَمْ Those are the only guys who will be granted Survival in dunya, reward in akhirah, salvation, whatever you want to call it. Inna al-ladheena qalu rabbuna Allah, those who did say, Ya Allah, you are our Lord. Ya Allah, we believe in you. Ya Allah, please take it from me right now. Start accusing your smartness. See, I know nothing. Ya Allah, I wish to be guided even if you know the answer. Ya Allah, I am putting my nose down because my heart is shivering. I don't want to get even closer to the edge. But brother, what, what's wrong? You are praying. Please let me deal with myself. We need to get back to, to Omar's attitude. Have your finger inside the fire and ask yourself, Umar, are you going to be able to bear such fire in the day of judgment? That's Umar. Umar! Umar is, is, uh, is accusing his Iman. <coughs> Umar, who kept bugging Hudayfa ibn al-Yaman, the secret keeper of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Anyone can suspect or doubt or question how Muhammad did pass away pleasing with Umar or not? No one can question it except Umar himself. And day and night bugging Hudayfa, Hudayfa, Billahi alayk. I ask you by Allah, is my name on the list of hypocrites or not? <coughs> what? Does Omar need that? But he want to make sure that he is not even... The distance is so big for Omar, between Omar and that edge. The distance is so far between Omar and, and any shaitan. Shaitan used to... Whenever he's in a, one of the lanes, shaitan is going in another lane, as Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam did say. He cannot even go and, and play with him again. He cannot. The Prophet, Allah has given him the ability to see the shaitan can get close to everyone, but not Umar. Whenever Umar is going in one way, shaitan is, oh, let, let this guy go alone. I cannot deal with him. Every time I'm coming to him, he's beating me up and getting a reward instead of making him falling in a trap. He's always seeking the guidance from Allah. He's always accusing himself He's always trying to be far away. I cannot get closer. Let me get away as much as I can out of the border of doubt. Not to fall in the hellfire. Just to get close to the edge or that strip that can, that can be of a gray color. No. I need to be amongst the absolute white hearts. Neither dark nor gray. 
And the way they intended and 